Chapter 8, World Tree? Ooh, there's Pyre and Mithra. It's quiet today, huh? Hmm. That bell. I think it was the sound of our heart. Has it stopped? Hmm. It stopped. But... Something's still ringing out. Yes. Oh, so, is this when they were kind of like in... So we have to go now. We've got to be with Rex. Was this before the fight? Hmm. Oh, is Mithra sleeping on his leg? Hey! Rex? It's kind of like the opposite when Rex was All sleeping on Pyra's. I guess if you were injured, I'd be feeling it too. I like how they're matching. Huh? Yes. Uh, I'm okay. Huh. <laughs> what the heck? W was I in your lap this whole time hmm it's like the opposite of when we met see it was by the way i can see you're back <laughs> to your old self just scooting uh, i mean thank you where are we yeah where there you everyone? go where are we we're under the cloud sea this must be the place of salvages call the land of moritha I don't know what happened to everyone else. Oh. Over there is where we fell. We're at the land of Mortha. Oh, I thought we were... Oh, we were on the cliffs of Mortha. Now we're on the land. From all the way up there? Looks like there's some kind of powerful updraft coming from below. It saved us. It looks like a city. It caught the others too. I'm sure it did. Yeah. Still okay? Let's get our bearings and then go look for them. We need to find a way out of here. Mm-hmm. Any ideas? Over there. Are those the World Tree's roots? Yeah. I bet there's a way up there. Oh, okay. There has to be. I can't see it. I'm good to go. Let's move. Um, how's Pyra? She's sleeping. Shall I call her? Nah. Let her sleep. Aww. She's been through a lot. We both have. <laughs> You're too kind. You. Rule five of the salvager code. Always be. I don't think we need to hear it. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey, at least let me finish. Spoil sport. <laughs> you. Oh, yeah, you're right. Adam I only have Rex right now. He told me to fight for the things that I wanted to protect. I made my choice. I fight for you and Pyra. I mean, I'm still not good enough for you, but... Don't say that. I was about to say, you're the I've master made a choice driver. As well. Not to... Live in fear. Which one of you is it in that form? Which one? Yeah. Deep down. Oh. It's not one or the other. It's both at once. It's both at once. Okay, I knew like that. Coffee with milk. Oh, what that's where it comes that? with comes from. <sighs> Something oh. like that, anyway. So you're Pithra, Myra. Pithra, Myra. It matter. Huh? Pyra, Mithra. <laughs> they're both me. Call me whichever. We were literally just talking about this. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's, oh. What? Oh, I have to choose? Biggest choice of the game right here. It matters. Half of... Wait, half of chat, it matters. Other half chat, it doesn't matter. I think Pyra. 
I'm already used to him calling her Pyre. I'm doing Pyre. You can transform at will. I like both, though. If I need to. I'm gonna call her Pyra. I'm not pulling it. <laughs> Obviously. What? what are you laughing at? Well, I kind of preferred your hair in that form. It's like that, is it? <laughs> you jerk. Aww. <laughs> he prefers... Did he just say, like, That's I prefer sound. your hair it's the others. in a ponytail? Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, Jin? He wound up here too. <sighs> Bro, fight back. What are you doing? Ooh, why is he... He's still wounded <gasps> from before. Oh. <sighs> Rex? That's why. <gasps> is he gonna save him? Wow, you're saving you Jin. Move, right? I can't just let you die here. Yeah? Even if you are my enemy. Oh, Rex. Mitra. You must. But don't kid yourself that I think this is a good idea, Rex. Whoa, what is this thing? It looks scary. Yeah, his core has a chip in it. Um. I didn't see, I didn't see him get, I didn't see his chip get damaged when we were fighting him, though. Um. Jin is in my party. Does that mean we're gonna be friends? Can I control Jin? enemy yeah we know that even so it would have been wrong I just thought I can't let it end like that and no it's nothing <sighs> Uh-oh, it's back alive? What? Oh! Ooh. Those flames. Oh, is it Morag? You've got a lot to learn. Yeah. Virgin. Oh, and Poppy. You've got oh. to burn these monsters up. Oh, you that gotta burn. Or smash their core crystal. <sighs> hey, Rex. What about that scumbag there? <laughs> Bridget. Ah, I think I beat him up pretty bad in that fight. <laughs> I couldn't just leave him to die. I thought it would be something like that. Graham. Oh, your sweet, bleeding heart. So, what are we going to do? Uh, Mithra, maybe you could, uh... Fine, whatever. Give me a sec. What is he gonna, what is she gonna do? I love she can just change whenever. Hey. Oh, is she going to heal him? Oh, she healed his crystal. Incredible. What awesome power you've acquired. This is... What's wrong? It's... What? It's all... Wait. Okay, I guess that makes sense. His heart. It's a human heart. A human heart? Oh, is that why he has a scar? He's... He's human? Flesh oh, he's a flesh eater? Wait, did we not know this? What? No! They said Jen is a blade! They lied to me! What? What did you do to me? Easy. You'll be fine. Everybody's it's a flesh perfect, eater until so pro careful, proven but... otherwise now. Mithra. My name. You still remember it, do you? I guess that makes sense. You never did return to your crystal, did you? <sighs> yeah, flesh eaters are blades. You're yeah, but a lucky man, Jin. Why? Why did you take 
Malos yeah. Aside. Why? You really want to know? Yeah. Yeah. You only think you do. If you knew, it'd destroy you too. Then what? I can guess. And I can tell you. It didn't lead me to the same conclusion as you. What? What do you mean? What conclusion? <sighs> Laura. She's in there, isn't she? <sighs> With everything you've done, we can't forgive you. This land was destroyed long before all rest existed. Birthplace of the architect. Oh, birthplace That's of the what architect? Said. The architects. Jin, I know full well there's no easy way to change your mind. But hear me out. Let's regroup and climb up the world tree. Call it a ceasefire until then, okay? A united front? As you wish. It's not like I could take you on in this state anyway. God, why does he have to sound so attractive and look that way? You must know practically all there is to know about me by now. The stuff in here, the old me, the me you knew. Is this journal the truth? The Bridget I knew. Well, you aren't her. It's like talking to a whole new blade. It seems wrong to just forget about the people who were important to me before. I need to remember them. <sighs> Jin, please tell. Really, Poppy is only just born. Doesn't know much. But even Poppy knows stories of old drivers very important. Very precious indeed. Memories of Master Pond very important. Poppy always thinks must make many more Master Pond memories. Aww. Aww. So, I'm officially a Tornin driver now. Tornin driver. Okay, let's make some memories. Aww. <laughs> Poppy think this world achieved very big technological advancement. Many buildings. Many people. Everybody... Probably very happy here. But... It doesn't matter how many fancy tricks they learn. Deep down, they're all the same. They thought they were making their lives better with all this stuff. But in the end, it destroyed them. No. It's just a ruin. Poppy was made by technological advancement too. Will Poppy destroy the world as well? That's my problem, too. If this world is Father's world, then Father made me to be as dangerous as any technology. Poppy and Mithra are the same? Yes. Kind of. But if... If Poppy destroys the world... Master Pond might get destroyed, too. Maybe Mithra should destroy Poppy. Poppy? Aww. Tora created you. You could never do something like that. I know it. But... Hmm. Hey, let's make a promise. Uh, a, a promise? Yes. That's right, Poppy. Promise that if you ever look like you're about to destroy the world, I will do what you asked of me. But in return, can you promise me something? What would you like from Poppy? Mithra is scared of destroying the world too? Well, I'm doing my best to stop it coming to that. 
It's something else. It's... Huh? <laughs> no, actually. No, you have to tell me! Don't do that to me! Right now. Ah! Can I think it over? Of course. Then let's promise. What's this? Master Pun taught it to Poppy. He said it's not on promise ritual. Lift hand up in air, then boop, together. I see. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> oh, poor Poppy. Why is she so worried about stuff like that, though? They've got a rotten knack of healing themselves. Almost like blades. I don't know, but maybe they're leftovers from the culture that created us. To create this awesome civilization. He does have Nim. I can't imagine. Awesome. This. Oh, you pissed huh? off Jin, man. It's a heap of smashed up crap. Look at it. It was melted by a warhead or something. All that's buried here is the hubris of mankind. If the architect was born here, then he must be as flawed as any other. No different from you people of all rest. Why do you hate us so much? Yeah. What is it that you think we've done? Jin. Jin, you have to answer that. Uh, that's. That's what? 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 Spider web? Torna. Oh. Mikhail, this is bad. Arcos. How deep are we? 28,000 pets. We're nearly at the limit already. It's too much! Any more and we're... We're nearly out of the cloud sea. Just hold on a bit longer. Yeah, but... What about Jin? Are we just gonna abandon him? This is... the land of Moritha. First time I've seen it. Yeah. Would you look at that? It's nothing to shout about. Just a bunch of ruins. Malos? A testament to their hubris. Exactly what Jin their said. Their hubris? So, humans lived here? All rest will suffer the same fate. So that's why Jin... Is it really justified? Oh wow, he's asking what are that you question. Saying? You're not there yet. That's okay. You'll understand soon enough. Let's cross that bridge when we come to I it. feel like oh. I need to be told this every single time something big happens in the story. <laughs> That's literally me. You'll know in due time, Kylie. Stop asking questions. <laughs> Smith, I remember? What's the Tornan Titan's Matrix. It's eggs. Even in old Torna, few people knew this place existed. These are... Blades. They're born in eggs? They, they look quite a lot like Titan, too. What? These are blades that perished in the process of becoming Titans. Titans grow core crystals within their bodies. Oh. Blades. They okay. aren't truly immortal. They are born from Titans. Oh, right, right, and right. And when their fire burns out, they return to the Titan that bore them. Oh. Eventually, the blades that return transform into Titans themselves. Oh! Can that be true? We'll end up like that eventually? Yes. It's true. The new Titan has no memory of its life as a blade. Whoa! Just like returning to a core. This is a huge lore swords. drop! They died along with their mother. Shared her fate. So blades are born from crystals and titans from blades. 
The Titan, in turn, nurtures life. And someday, births new core crystals. Right. That's the life cycle of a blade. It is the way that the architect ordained for the world. Old Torna worshipped this cycle. It wasn't long after you and Adam left Torna. He did it. That worm of Malthus. The Wait, Praetor. what? What did he do? The one who really destroyed this place. It wasn't the Aegis. Oh, what? It was him. What? Huh? <laughs> Dramatic sound. A mouth of sus is so soft. I knew it. Wait, he destroyed it? He destroyed Torna? Oh, there's Laura. Oh no, is that how she died? Oh! Laura! Oh, she was protecting Jen. Bruh. Find them. They must be somewhere nearby. If I die, you'll just go to sleep. Someone will find you, reawaken you, someday. For us humans, being forgotten is a much worse fate than death. Aww. We struggle so hard to make our mark on the world. Laura! Dang. When you awaken, to you, it'll be like I never even existed. Jin. The thought of you forgetting me, it's like one heart is being ripped in two. Aww. I won't. Forget you. I refuse to forget you. How could I ever? I thought I was ready for this. But now the time has come. I'm hopeless. I'm so sorry to do this to you. There is one way, one final chance, a way that we can be together. That's how he has her heart. I ate her.
<gasps> Sorry. Maybe we shouldn't have left. I never knew. Amalthus was afraid of the Aegis's power. After Malice was defeated, he tried to wipe them out. The remnants of Torna were annihilated in the attempt. But you'd already vanished by then. So we were slaughtered for nothing. His real desire for Elysium is his desire for the Architect's power. Whoa. Amalthus wants to use it to wipe out blades and titans. So that's why he was taking care of Rex and the Aegis. Even so, even if that's true, Wow. You lot in Amalthus, you're the same. You know, I'm not so sure. What? I don't buy it. I can't believe that's what you're really trying to do here. Why do you say that? Haven't we... I could tell when we were fighting. I saw it in your eyes. The sadness. It was the look of someone who just wanted to die. Someone with no other way out. <sighs> you know, it was the way Pyra looked the first time we met. We are sick of being used as tools by humans. Well then, there's only one thing to do. Which is what? As I thought. What? What's that? What's a big boy? They're not really alive. Just autonomous cybernetic organisms. Once their central control is gone, they're programmed to act on their own. To destroy. Uh. These guys. Yeah, puppy. Testaments <laughs> to human hubris. Now do you see? Ah! We have to fight that thing. Okay, let's do it. Woo! Oh, lightning! Could it be? Look, Rex, Rex. The other. Rex, Pyra, you okay? We have so much to tell you. What the hell? That can wait. First, deal with that. <laughs> Jin, okay. what the heck? <laughs> a Zekanator, he's here. Yay! Now we have a full group. What is that? Uh. This is... Is that a badge? Rex, Rex? What's matter? Find something. Uh... No. It's nothing. We talk about what to do next. Rex, Rex should join. Uh, yeah. Okay. I can see why you've brought Jin, but I advise you not to let your guard down. <laughs> Morag? <laughs> Got a point. <laughs> I don't need your remorse now, Jin. But when we're past this crisis, I'm taking you in. I owe it to my leader and to my people. If you resist, we'll kill you. Bridget and I. Yes. Morag! What? Another monster? What is it this time? Master Pun, above! Oh, it's Jin's people. It's go too source. soon. Morag. Oh, That's Jin. What's he doing with them? Weird. Let's ask questions. Weird. Later, huh? After we finally smashed huh? him up. Oh my god, Patroka. <laughs> well. After okay. we, he's not even paying mm. attention to her. Ten? Yes. Jeez. Don't attack, he says. What? But it's the perfect chance. Huh. I told you not to attack! Uh. Oh! You sly devil. Hid that one up your sleeve, didn't you? Sounds like a plan. 
Never seen that side of gin before. <laughs> Let's bring them up. Then it's world tree climbing time. Yes, sir. That was kind of nice. Oh, just him? Bridget. Huh? You're still like you used to be. <gasps> Jin. Oh. Damn. Assholes. That's a bit unsporting of them, using a giant boat. We must hurry. The longer we wait, the bigger their advantage. <laughs> yeah, using we a giant boat. <laughs> Gramps, you knew, right? About Jin. Indeed. Yeah, why didn't why you didn't tell us? You tell yeah, me. what the heck? He is not like Malos. To be honest, I didn't know if you could handle it. You care too much at times. Aww. Mm. Jin and Malos must be defeated. Who knows how that'll turn out? But facing them is Pyra and Mithra's unavoidable fate. So I kept quiet. Pyra and Mithra's fate. She shoulders the burden of sustaining your life. Rex, what burden are you taking for her? Can you live for something and hold true to it? Yeah, of course. I'm living for them. Pyra and Mithra. I see. Well, I guess you're okay then. I'm Just living for sure. them. To walk your own path, Rex. Believe in yourself. My, I have a question, but I love that scene. The Great Void, it's almost completely gone. After all, the Great Void was Ophion's doing. Yes, indeed. I mean, it doesn't look impossible to climb, but it's nastier than any mountain, that's for sure. Everyone, here. Pyra. Let's take the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. What is this? Is it an elevator? The insides of the world tree. I'd never have thought. It seems to be an artificial tower enveloped by gargantuan plant life. Ooh. Is that an elevator? It seems like we could use this to travel up. Oh. <laughs> Pyra, what did you do? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure myself. <laughs> it's like my body I was right. remembering something all by itself. Ah, we look it at there. Be. We don't need to climb. There's an elevator. Another power granted to the Master Blade by Father. So, we need to hurry. Seems this is some kind of elevator. That's some fancy glazing. Yeah, who knew Tree Ooh, had an elevator? Never we're good with heights. Shut your eyes. Oh, <laughs> let's go. What in the world? What is he doing? Is he sleeping? Oh, he's sleeping. Is this his bed? Or maybe he's healing. Somehow, it's like a healing chamber or something. You can die when we're done. Yep, there it is. <laughs> You can die when this we far. I don't plan on giving up. At least now we know like down. his motivation. If Judicium hadn't gone down, we might have got you some better treatment. I know Laura wouldn't have wanted this. Even so, I've got to keep my promise. Wait, so uh, uh All right. What? I'm with you. So he knows Laura wouldn't want this? Way. Who's Promise? Promise to Mallows? Hey, Jin. You better not get sentimental. Am I misremembering this promise? I found the ruins of Torna down in Moratha. Oh. There were half rotted blades there. Couldn't grow into Titans. They must have lived on for a while down there. A man once said, 
Live together with the humans. A man? Really? We were just living for the humans. That was what the architect ordained for us. And look what we became. A lot of he said, she said stuff, you know. Like, have you spoken to the architect? Have you? You're still sure you know, that's about what, I what you want, right? That thing. It's a reminder. To remind me what a fool I was to ever have faith in the architect. Oh, well. So, Rex, do you truly believe that Elysium exists? Do you even have to ask? Don't you, Morag? I don't understand why you'd even be here, then. No, that's not what I mean. I just wanted to clarify how everyone truly feels. After all, don't most people only know of Elysium from fairy tales? Well, I guess so, but our chum here has seen the real deal in his dreams or whatever, right? Is it prudent to believe in Elysium based on that information alone, I wonder? Don't you trust me and Pyromorak? Oh no, I trust you both. But just because a place exists in your dreams does not necessarily mean it exists in reality. So you don't believe us. Zeke, can you honestly say you have never doubted Elysium's existence in the slightest? Well, I guess I have wondered from time to time. At the end of the day, the only way to be truly sure is to go there, right? True enough. As for now, Rex believes it's real and that's enough for me. Oh, Zeke. I mean, sure, it's best for everyone if it does exist, but even if it doesn't, does that really change anything? So what if there's no proof? Chasing after dreams is what real men are born to do. Very well. I appreciate your passion. <laughs> That's what real men are born to do. I'm not quite do. sure I understand your notion of a real man. <laughs> hey, no worries. You'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you're basically the manliest one here. Zeke. There are some things in this world you don't joke about. <laughs> Even my temper has its limits. Would you like me to teach you a lesson you won't ever forget? <laughs> uh, Morad, you're scaring me a little. Dang! Hold it, hold it. I was just joking around. <laughs> L listen, nobody needs to die here, okay? <laughs> okay. Oops, I mean. <laughs> Rex Rex look worried. They gonna... Maybe Rex Rex lost wallet? That's it, Tora, you got him. It's not that. Oh, I see. Well, maybe your worry is your wallet's empty. <laughs> well, that's true. I don't work much these days. Hey, why are you so interested in my finances all of a sudden? <laughs> what is up with you, kid? You've been a right gloomy guts lately. Hmm. I was thinking about Amalthus. Yeah, me too. If what Jin said is true, the Praetor doesn't just hate blades, but humans too. I mean, he basically hates the whole world, seems like. Rex? Hating people, hating yourself. Where does it end? What do you do when you hate the whole world? You mean... Destroy it. That's all that's left. Tell me I'm wrong. That's a leap of logic. But I think a lot of mortals are like that. Do you remember? Talking to the Praetor. I said it felt like talking to Malos. Oh. Yeah, you did say that. Oh, shoot. It's a funny thing. Malos and the Praetor. Yeah, you're right. They want the same thing. <laughs> oh, are we getting the reason? <laughs> is this... Is Mother. this the crater when he was... Oh, that's his mom? Emmy? Emmy? What is it? Leaving you alone in the world like this. I failed you as a mother. Huh? Stop making me feel bad for the bad guys, game. What the heck? Stop it. Mother! Forgive Be me. evil. On your own. Oh! Ah! 
Did she Where's try to going? kill him on purpose or was she throwing him off so that he wouldn't be Stop! caught? That would make me evil, too. <laughs> wow, this was a long time ago than if he was young. Is that a Gramati? Gramati? Ah, reliving the fond memories. Your Eminence, we'll be exiting the Cloud Sea shortly. What? Below. A dark mass in the cloud sea. It's... It's father. ML Crush? Yeah, ML Crush. Uh, violence is never the it's answer, chat! The... What? <laughs> Seven. Ooh! Hit. It is typical anime. You destroyed my blank! I'm in the world! Oh, dang! Ooh, they get in the ship, though! It's a good thing we took the elevator! They took us by surprise. Petroka, prepare the defenses. I'll analyze the threat. I'm on it! You need a counterattack, damn it! Stop trying to give orders and get to it! Ugh. Ugh! Where's Mikhail? What a time to let us down! Mikhail's down below. Below? But... Got it! A bypass to the cannons. Watch this, scum. Hmm... What is he doing? Ready? Ready. Oh. The ship will get you as far as the boundary line. Oh right, they have we all the drop blades. We can you and Malos off there. <laughs> we'll have to. All rest ships can't make it past the boundary line. <laughs> yeah. No sweat. Jin, you are okay with this. Right? Mikhail. Hmm? Take care of Laura. Wait, what? Jin? Wait, what? Wait. Back off. Fire up the blade bots. Time oh. to strike. Jin! Wait. Malos! Indol. <laughs> They got here sooner than we thought. They gave up on the boy pretty quick. No surprise. Hatch open. Ready to launch. Okay. Launch. So wait, they're using Laura to con... Whoa. From what we saw in Moritha, it seemed like all that stuff happened a gazillion years ago. Mm. Or maybe two gazillion. Two I gazillion. Definitely two gazillion. Not even Titans live that long. Even Pyra and Mithra have never actually met him. But this tower's right here. It's real. Mia, what's wrong? His tummy started rumbling. Oh, father. Every time with you, it's, have you lost your wallet? Or are you hungry? Is that really all you can think of? <gasps> Meh. 
Well, well, the Tora thought food is only thing that makes Nia all um growly growly. Watch it, Furball. <laughs> what is Nia's problem? That's not a nice way to ask, Poppy. <laughs> but I let it slide. There's something I want to ask you, Blades. Tell the truth. Have you ever wanted to extend your life? Avoid returning to our cores? Yeah. That's a tough question. I would like to keep learning about my former selves, but to keep living after Morag is dead... Oh, I'm sorry. No, I understand. <sighs> the idea of living on without her does not appeal to me. Yeah, same here. Oh, I want my memories of the prince to be just between us. You're going to make me blush, Pandy. Jomak? As long as I'm by my lady's side till the end, then I'm satisfied. Poppy is artificial blade, so it is very sad for me to think about. When Master Pawn is gone, Poppy will be widow. Meh. Well, wait, widow? Not quite. But I get where you're coming from. Pyra? <laughs> well, I. It's different for you, right? You've been alive for a few centuries. Did I ask you? Pyra, what do you think about it? Really? Hey. Sometimes. I wondered why I have to keep on living forever. Just on and on, no end in sight. But it's different now. I'm glad I've stayed alive all this time. Parting is always sad. But it's just part of the deal of being me. Aww. Though, so, maybe. Maybe one day I'd be happy to close my eyes forever with someone special there by my side. Pyra. That's how Pyra. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sharing with me. So, what made you ask? I'm a flesh eater. So. I don't know how long I'll live for. I mean, for all I know, I might just sniff it tomorrow. My lady. But I can say this much. My life and death isn't tied to any human. And? It's Jin. I've been wondering. Jin was collecting core crystals. But why didn't he use them? Doesn't he hate humans? He could use them to create blades, then turn them into flesh eaters. He could expand Torna with no need for humans in the mix. They do lack numbers. Is that all of them? Yeah. It's just the five of them. That's it. When Malos suggested getting Obrona and Akos to resonate, Jin was dead against it. So I think maybe... Maybe... Jin feels the same way as us. The same way as us? Mm. I think maybe that's why he won't resonate with anyone. Oh yeah, they don't know that Indol and <laughs> them are fighting. So, this is what the world tree is really like. These, <laughs> they aren't leaves. They're glyphs. An old, Tornan warship. Didn't think there'd be any of those left. Never mind that. What's this? I had no idea Indol could make it up this high. Cloud Sea, long way down. So, Jin is inside that thing? Yes, no doubt. Let's hurry. We can't let them make it to Elysium. Uh oh, it's the bad guy. He's very visually impressive in these games. Oh, 
Whose ships do those belong to? Oh yeah, look at him. He annihilated all of those ships. <laughs> you. Just thought I'd come and say goodbye. Would you rather I leave without saying anything? Goodbye? What would compel you to leave me? You are my... I've got full control of all my powers now. It doesn't matter if you die. I can keep on going. What are you saying, Malos? Hmm. The Praetorium, the Believers, I despise them all. Humans aren't fit to breathe our air. <laughs> Dang. So, I'm going to give you what you always wanted. Yet look at you now. <sighs> Big purple black explosion. I know. There must be someone out Malice there who can strong. use this core. I'll send them after Malos. But what? For obvious reasons, because Malos is crazy. Oh my god, you literally walk two steps and In there's the another cutscene. You are to use the Aegis's power to bring down that ship. Um, huh? excuse me? What's wrong? This is your duty, Pilgrim. My only duty is to open the way to the world tree. Yeah, bro. You cannot do it? If you don't comply, then prepare for right Holy degrees. Oh my god. To fight him now? Because we're not listening? Oh my god. They're gonna tell the Praetor that we're... Uh-oh. I think they know. Frigid! Mithra! Tumak! Uh oh, what are they doing? Something, someone. Uh oh, that's not good. Effect, can it be? Please forgive my interference. Time runs short. Uh, a Malthus. That's Hayes's core crystal. Fun the Nords. Oh, that's it, all right. The other half. What he, is it? He Leo. took it? Wait. Amalthus. He took Oh my god! Crystal. He's using her power. Not only that, this is in fact my original primal power. Wait, his primal power? Mitra! The, the artifice! No. Stop. Oh shoot, he's controlling her? Mitra, Mitra. Whoa, this guy is scary as heck, man. Whoa. Oh shoot. Is that the artifice? Is it the Aegis? No. But who? A Malthus. Okay, good. At least he knows. Malthus? He's my driver, and I'm an Aegis. If that energy gets any stronger, you won't just control the blades, but Mithra too. A Malthus. You never disappoint. I am the driver of the Master Blade. Bow before me. Master driver. I possess the power to command all blades. Whoa. Every blade alive. Indeed, even the very titans are under my control. That must be how he repelled the attack. Sooner or later, he'll control us too. Even the titans are under his control? I guess that makes sense. You won't I guess. Under his control. Sure, he can dampen your power. Half breed? But that's why we built those things. Oh, they already knew, and that's why? Oh my god! Mikhail's creations will not submit to Amalthus's control. And neither will this bucket of bolts. 
We're nearly at the boundary layer. Jin, Malos, get ready. Roger. Malos, let's move. Yeah. Mikhail, Akos, Petroka. It's up to you now. Sure. Yeah, we get it. Hey, when you see our daddy, dear, tell him thanks for everything from me. <laughs> Amalthus! We're gonna stop Jin! But you've gotta stop this! You're speaking nonsense, boy. Now is the hour of their doom. You leave me no choice but to perform your duty for you. Destroying Jin and Torna? We're only trying to stop them, not kill them. You believe you can sway them with words of reason? Well, yes! Jin Why are you even what talking to him, bro? What 500 years ago? And you were the cause of it, weren't you, Praetor? I was nothing but the mouthpiece of the architect. The mouthpiece? When I meet him, I'll ask him myself. <laughs> about me, about Pyra and Mithra. That is not your right. It is mine. Whoa. Wait, is he missing? You resist. Oh. Again? You defy me again? Amalthus, you won't get what you want. I, I'm... Rex's blade! That's right. Rex, you're the Aegis's driver. There's nothing he can do that you can't. Yeah! That's true. Does yeah. that mean... Rex, it's true. Power depends on the heart of its wielder. Can we can control him? Or maybe not. What is he going to do? Oh. Shiny. Oh. I can move. Rex. I'm okay. I I won't let him get away with this anymore. He's just manipulating humans and blades alike. That's not the architect's will at all. Give it up, Amalthus. You can leave Jin and the rest to us. I feel like Jin should be on our side. Like we should, Torna it should be, come like, but I get it, but like, oh. Whoa, they're just riding up like that. Oh, blasted. Mm, it is drawing near. Gather the brothers together. We must exterminate the vermin. No soul alive, they sully. The architect's presence. Dang. Not really. I mean, isn't Amalthus also trying to kill everybody? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, he did. Oh, my God. Oh, shoot. We're already... <laughs> the end of chapter eight that was a lot faster than i thought <laughs> whoa you yeah, 20 minutes of gameplay my butt <laughs> whoa holy guacamole